All right, welcome back. We are answering your questions about voting in election 2020 with Guilford County Board of Elections Director Charlie Collicutt. Remember, you can text your questions to us, the number right there at the bottom of the screen. So this is an easy uh, question for you to answer. Can you register to vote at any early voting site? Yes, yes. If you're not registered, you can do a same day registration at any early voting site, not an election day polling place, but at uh, an early voting site. All right, this person says, hey, I voted at Burr Mill polling site yesterday and was curious as to why the voting is by paper ballot and not electric by machine. And everybody around the state is paper ballot this year. Yeah, everybody in the state is is paper ballot. Some have an electronic interface that generates a paper ballot. Um, but yeah, the, um, the Board of Elections chose in the early part of 2020, right before the primary, that uh, along with a lot of other counties that we were gonna go with the paper ballot system. And um, we, we had to, um, we'd been an electronic voting county for a long time, many, many years. And the Board of Elections chose to go a different uh, route this year. There was some, some um, statutes that made it, uh, made it uh, um, an easier decision. All right, this person says, if you registered uh, to vote, when do, you, uh, when do you use your license? Do I need to register again? Oh, they registered when they got their license. That's what it is. Right. Yeah. It's uh, registering to vote while you get your driver's license is a great way to do things. You can use the DMV to um, in their website to change your address, register new. Um, it's a great resource. You don't have to register again. If you did it through that that system, then you're fine. So this question is, I dropped my completed ballot at an early voting location and it was logged in and dropped in a lockbox. When will it be opened and counted? Uh, it will be open and counted at it, an it, it open meeting of the Board of Elections, and right now those are held every Tuesday. So uh, if you, so it will be um, opened and approved, open and counted at the Tuesday following when you dropped it off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this question is, will there be handicapped voting during early voting sites? And there is curbside voting. What do you right. need to do to make sure that you're in the right place for that? Right. Well, first, all the early voting sites are ADA compliant. Um, for uh, for any uh, disabled voter, but also curbside. Um, all the sites offer curbside voting and there is signage for where curbside occurs. What you'll have to do is when you get there is you'll sign an affidavit saying that, that um, due to age or some disability, you cannot enter the polling place. All right, this might be the best question of all. Which polling sites have those election pens? Can you find all out in them. advance? All, <laughs> all of them have the pens now. This was, uh, it was, it was a lot. I know the voters want them and they're great pens and I know we didn't have them at first. Neither did a lot of counties across the state. Um, we have them now and it's been it's been a lot to get to get them. OK, you said it's been a lot. Here's what he's not telling you. You drove in the middle of the night to pick up some of these 2020 election pens. Yeah, well, yeah, the, the pens have been an adventure. First, um, yeah, I've been unloading trucks at two, three o'clock in the morning when when we got some of the men, some some pens in. But then, yeah, on, on Sunday, um, we didn't have uh, we didn't have our election pins. The delivery had been promised on the prior Friday. They, we still didn't have them. We were running out of the big pins. We were running out of the disposable pins that we had. So, I jumped in a big uh, cargo van and drove to Mecklenburg County and raided my counterpart in, in Charlotte. The Mecklenburg County Board of Elections raided twenty thousand pins, threw them in the back of the van, and drove back to Greensboro and unloaded them so we could get them out uh, to the sites on Monday. Okay, <laughs> and that is so everyone could have their twenty twenty election pen now. That's most, and then later that afternoon, half a million on a truck showed up. So we're gotcha. good now. And so every early voting site across the state should have these pens. Every voting, every early voting site across Guilford County has the pens. <laughs> For sure, Guilford County. If you're in another county, you may have to call and ask about that. That's right. OK. All right. Uh, this person says, how are the tabulators at the early polling places protected from vandalism, theft or other destruction? Yeah, well, the tabulators are, are inside. And so after it, it in the evening when the polls are closed, first the ballots are removed and, and brought into our vault at the old um, at our Board of Elections office. Um, and then the, the tabulator itself is is um, locked. It is um, it's actually in a, in a in a fairly resilient waterproof shell that it stays in uh, that is locked down. And then we cover cover those all the ports with uh, tamper evidence seals. And then it stays locked in the uh, facility, which we do um, make sure our, our places that we're usually municipal or county buildings that do have security. 
All right, we're going to continue to take your text questions. I can answer this one really quickly for this person. Can I vote anywhere in Guilford County during early voting? Yes, in any county, wherever you are, you can vote in any early voting site. You are not going to go to your regular polling place. It's probably not open. You're going to go to any early voting site. We'll be back with more of your questions.